Welcome to Trinity Learning Club, TLC. If you enjoy listening to our stories, don't forget to click subscribe and the like button for weekly story times. Today, we are reading a story called Little People, Big Dreams, Ada Lovelace. Written by Isabel Sanchez Figuera. This story is about a lovely girl called Ada Lovelace. She was a famous mathematician back in the old days. With her skills and knowledge in mathematics, she was able to invent many things. And her inventions were so great that it made such a big difference to the world we live in today. This is a very inspiring storybook, and I hope that you'll enjoy it. So sit back, relax, and read on. Ada Lovelace was born in England to a mother who loved maths and a father who loved poetry. Can you see Ada in the baby crib? Mum's on the left doing mathematics and Dad's on the right writing poetry. Ada's father left England when she was very little and never returned. Her mother was away a lot too. So young Ada spent a lot of time at her grandparents' house. A cat called Mrs. Puff kept her company. Mrs. Puff looks very cute. Left alone, Ada's imagination took flight. She started to dream of machines with wings that could move in any direction. That sounds a bit like an airplane, doesn't it? When Ada's mother came to visit, she didn't like her imaginary inventions. She wanted her to concentrate on maths and logic and nothing else. Luckily, Ada liked numbers and was very good at solving mathematical problems. When she was 14, Ada became sick. She had to spend a lot of time resting in bed, but she kept studying, inventing, and dreaming. It seems like nothing would stop her from doing what she really likes to do, and that is the right spirit to have. After three long years, Ada got better. She went to London and was introduced to a famous mathematician called Charles Babbage. Mr. Babbage told Ada he was building a big machine that could add together sums called a calculator. Have you heard of a calculator before? A calculator is a very smart tool that helps you to count numbers. The calculator could do some so quickly, it was like magic. Most people couldn't understand how it worked, but Ada was fascinated. Ada thought she could use maths to make the calculator do even more amazing things. She wrote a code made up of numbers that would tell the calculator what to do. Ada didn't know it, but she had just invented the language that computers use today. Little Ada, who loved both numbers and poetry, had become the world's first computer programmer. She showed that when you use science and imagination, your dreams can take flight.
Ada Lovelace was brilliant at mathematics. She used her skills and her knowledge to invent the very first computer programmer. And it has made a big difference to our world today. I hope that one day, you and I will continue to follow our dreams so that we will make a big impact to the world. That's it for today, children. I hope you enjoyed today's story time. See you next time.